guys, James here today and welcome to another house building video in Luna Island. Uh, this time we're building on lot number one, the 64 by 64 lot. Uh, and today I wanted to try again something different and something I think that is quite unique. Uh, and I don't think I've seen anyone do it anyways. Uh, and like I said, for every lot on this island I really want to do something new and something even better than what I've ever done before. Every lot I want it to be the best I can do. And that's what I think this really, really does. Um, so you can see I'm doing a lot of sort of constrained floor elevation on this house, doing a lot of split levels. Uh, but I think it's very playable. Uh, it, it ends up being a, a one bedroom, a one bathroom house. So it's really for a couple uh, it's designed for. And I think it's, a, it's, it's, it's on a very big lot. So there's plenty of room for expansion in the future. Uh, and it, it definitely is, I, I wouldn't call it a starter home, but I mean, in, in terms of price, but in terms of, uh, the, the sort of actual size of the house and that. It kind of is more of a starter home design. Uh, and it's something that I think it, any sort of couple would love to live in. It's something it's something cool, something unique. And I'm really pleased with how it turned out in the end. Anyways, uh, so yeah, we're still doing a lot of sort of constrained floor elevation. There's a lot of uh, definitely constrained floor elevation that goes into this house. And I put a lot of time into it. And you'll see me doing bits over and over and sort of trying to fix it up and get it just right. Um, and you'll note by the length of this video that, like I said, it isn't the biggest house in the world, but it's not supposed to be. It's just supposed to be sort of a, a nice cozy little house, something different, something unique uh, to this world. And definitely, probably, I would say to the Sims community anyways. So it's, it's something I really enjoyed doing and it was a lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, we're just getting a nice sort of slanted roof there with the uh, with constrained floor elevation. So we're using like floor tiles for the roofing there and uh, not using... Uh, like the regular roof because I, if I use a regular roof, I wouldn't be able to get the same effects I did uh, Using all the floor tiles and CFA to get everything just where I want it and you can see obviously the uh, a Lunar promenade in the background over the water there. So it has a very nice view of of the island. You can also see um, uh, Well, I don't think you can, I don't know if you can will be able to see it in this video But over just over the water as well is where the lighthouse is located. So it's like a prime position uh, Something really nice uh, a nice place to live. I would say uh, we're just picking out some nice decorative objects as well. You'll note the house is up on sort of like stilts as well, which I thought was a really nice thing to do because a lot of the houses, uh, island houses anyways, are up on stilts and that's to protect from like sort of uh, flooding and all that because low coastline areas are prone to sort of flooding and high tides and everything. So you'd, you'd want your house raised up the ground so if the water did come in, that at least the majority of your house and, and everything would be out of the water, which is what I've sort of incorporated into this design. Uh, and I think it worked pretty well in the end. Um, but yeah, again, we're using a lot more CFE here and there. And we did use one bit of roof there, as you can see, I've just chucked on the back just to provide a nice sort of area to be covered from the rain and the weather and everything like that. And we actually have an elevator going up uh, one of the stilts. And now I did include uh, spiral stairs because I believe elevators do require that you have late night. But if you don't have late night I, in, in another stilt, I've put spiral stairs, which only require you to have an updated base game version. So as long as your base game is up to date, uh, that'll be fine. You'll have a way of getting into it and it should all work pretty well. Uh, now, there are only two windows and they are at the front of the house that so you can see there. Uh, the rest is really sort of it's really it's a really, really cozy feel. I thought not doing any windows would just sort of, it would block out the outside and it would allow you to go in and just have pure peace. And I've used this sort of a uh, really woolly carpety texture on everything. Uh, and it uh, definitely, if you were inside this, it would have the, the softest walls, the softest floors, and it'd be so, so quiet. It'd be so silent that this is noise cancellation from all this sort of uh, carpety sort of material would be amazing. It'd be like going into your own private, just, I don't know, just like sleep pod of sorts. You go in there, silent, peaceful, and you could just, I don't know, you would have the best time in the world. Uh, but yeah, we're getting a nice color scheme going around, uh, getting really natural sort of colors as well, because I did want it to blend in quite nicely using sort of natural browns and everything on the uh, on the house itself, giving it a really sort of nice vibe and, and kind of... Um, I don't know, kind of like an architecture-y feel to it, I guess. Uh, and because we want it to be natural tones and everything. You don't want it sticking out too much from the other houses in the world. Uh, so, yeah, I've definitely used all the natural sort of colors and vibes everywhere, giving a real sort of uh, blending in kind of look anyways. Uh, but I think we're going to, are we moving on to the interior now? I think we are. Um, 
Yeah, like I said, the interior is really nice. It's all this beautiful, soft carpeted walls and floors. And even the ceiling has a carpet on. You might have seen me placing it on there. And it just is so soft. Uh, there's like there's The only two windows, like I said, are up on the top. Um, and there's no windows in the main sort of section of the house. It's really, really peaceful and just shut up. Because, I mean, a lot of people might say that you want windows uh, because you're on an island. You want all the views and all that. But I was like... Well, you can get the views when you go outside or if you go to a lunar promenade or something like that, you have the views there. When you're inside your house, you really want to be closed in. You want to be sort of safe. You want to be quiet and peaceful. You just want to get away from it all. You don't want to see it all because then it just brings it all into the house. It brings all the stresses and all the dramas of your everyday life into the house. And that's where I got the revolutionary idea of sort of closing it all in and just having it just all by yourself. It is just the house. That's all it is. It is pure, unadulterated, uh, just house, no sort of exterior impacts or distractions from the world or anything like that. Uh, we've got, again, that very nice wardrobe design that I've seen uh, around the place. I, I borrowed it from Deligracy, but I believe, I mean, a lot of people do it. She's not the first, but that was, she was like kind of the first person I saw doing it. So I give her the credit for, for that idea because that's where I got it from. But obviously, I'm pretty sure other people have done that before as well. But, you know, I got a lot of my furnishing sort of tips from her. Uh, continuing with the color scheme as well, you'll see the rug and like the bed as well has the same sort of color scheme as well. That nice brown natural sort of, it's a really, really warm vibe as well. Like it just seems like it'd be really nice and warm in there. You would never be cold, I don't think. Uh, and we've got two little rooms here. Now the, the bedroom is actually open plan to the main living area. It like flows straight on through to the kitchen and the living area. And it is just, it's just like a one big flowing open space, except for obviously the bathroom, because you want a bit of privacy in a bathroom. And then there's also a study on it, just for a bit of symmetry to give it that uh, sort of completed feel. So that's our study in there. I did want to put some bookcases behind the desk, but I didn't like how they're overlapping. So I sort of adjusted it, gave that one a little bit of an angle to, I don't know, just to sort of fill in that little gap there. It, it's an unused sort of space behind the bookcases, but I think it looks pretty good in the end. Uh, and yeah, just getting a nice sort of computer and chair and a little phone in there. A nice little sitting armchair thing there as well. So you can read all your books in the comfort and in the privacy of that little room. Got some hallway runners there as well to sort of tie in the two sections of the house. I was trying to pick a really nice sort of uh, chandelier light here, but I couldn't find one I wanted in the end. Uh, but in the end, I yeah, just used this one here, which I thought was kind of funky. I don't know. I thought it was kind of cool. So we chucked it in there. Now, this is our little kitchen area here. Uh, we got that really soft sort of uh, carpety feel as well on the counter. So it's like, it is really child friendly as well. If you're going to have a toddler or a baby in this house, like you wouldn't need to worry. They could, they could run into as many corners as they want. It would just be soft, soft as anything. It would just be beautiful. Even the dishwasher and trash compactor are soft. It is incredible. Uh, but I, I just think this the whole design is just quite revolutionary and it's something that i personally have never seen or ever done in the sims is create something this sort of unique uh inspired and just innovative it's going to change the way we build houses I, I think this is the beginning of a massive revolution in house design not only in the sims but in the real world as well i think it's just going to bring on uh so much inspiration to all the architects out there in the world and all the sims house builders house builders it's just going to be absolutely amazing uh now we're doing a little dog bowl and some dog beds here and there as well because you know uh if you're going to be in here as well you might as well get some some animals because it's so soft i mean cats oh cats would be perfect for this place uh though i think it's more of a it's got more of a dog vibe but cats would love it because there's like they could scratch at the walls at the carpets and at, at the sofas everything they could scratch at it'd be like kitty heaven it would be fantastic uh but we're just finishing up some little detailings in the garden now uh, as well, I think we're going to do, yeah, it's a little bit of terrain painting. We're getting a, a nice sort of rocky uh, cliff thing here. I don't know. I just wanted to detail the garden because we've got so much space in this garden. It is, it's a massive garden, which means, again, like like I said, you could expand the house very, very easily. Uh, and you could do lots of things there. You want to get in some nice decorative trees. And we're getting like a little sort of dirt mound out the back. So it's kind of like they've been landscaping. They've got a bit of dirt left over in the end. But here we are on the screenshots. Here's the front of the house. As you can see, the two windows up the top there. Uh, apologies for that black floating square. There's a bit of a glitch in the game. I don't know. I couldn't get rid of that. Uh, but that's the front of the house, as we can see there. Uh, and we, that's where the entrance is, a spiral staircase in the rear stilt. Uh, you can see you come up the stairs there and come into the living area and the kitchen. That's the sort of sitting area there with the TV and the dog bowls and all that. There's a little sofa that you can sit on. Uh, but yes, 
This is just a screenshots of the house. You can download it in the description below. Uh, thank you for watching this house building video in a lunar island. I will be back next time, hopefully with something even more innovative, something even more different and unique. Uh, because that's what I love to do. And I think this is truly, truly the best house I could have ever done. I don't know how I'm going to top this, honestly. It is just, I don't know, I just really, really feeling this style. And I'm going to have to do more houses like this. No windows. It's going to be awesome. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day. Bye.